All right, in our last video, we talked about how to set up our weight loss graph. And we started out by talking about the basic days and dates as our headers, right? We just learned how to fill that in. And I said, let's, let's suppose that we start with a weight of 210 pounds, and I want to start um, losing some weight. And so let's pick a, a pretty safe weight loss figure. Safe, a pretty safe weight loss figure is about 1% a week. That's a pretty modest diet. Um, so that would be more or less about two pounds a week. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, fill in some data here and just more or less to give us this uh, concept of a, of, a, of a true you know weight loss across this period. So I would be looking to lose about maybe about two pounds um, every every week. That's one percent. So let's say that I started out the first day, the next day I actually went up in weight, then I went down, then I went to 209. That was 209.5, and I was, you know, two, you know, same thing again the next day, 209.5, and I was at 210, and then the next day I was at 208, and then and so you, you're going to see your weight would it would meander like this. You wouldn't have like a consistent weight. So then let's say I went to 209, then 207.5, uh, then we went to 207, then we went to 207.5 again. Then we went to 206.5, then we went to 207, and then maybe this was 206. Then maybe I ate a lot that night, so I went all the way back up to 209. And then let's just say it was 208, 207, and I went to 209. And um, 207 here, and then I went to 206 here. And um, you know, I'm just kind of meandering around here. Let's just say that, and, you, and then the next day you got up to 205.5, and you keep, you know, your weight's just kind of coming down in a gradual fashion. It's nothing that crazy, but um, you know, it, it's kind of it's going in the right direction, right? So by Halloween, let's just say that we are uh, 205. Let's just say. So there's our weight loss. <clears throat> so what I want to do is I want to create a graph from this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out. So the way that you'll zoom out on a Microsoft Excel is you hold down the control key on the keyboard, which I'm pressing now, and then if you have a mouse with a, a wheel, you can scroll the wheel and you'll see the data scroll in and out like this. That's all I'm doing. When you see the data scroll in and out, I'm holding the control key and I'm zooming in and out. So what I want to do right now is I'm going to create my first graph. So I'm going to take this data, I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to highlight the date first and then the weight, both of them together. And I'm going to go up here to where it says insert. Then I'm going to go over to where it says scatter. And I'm going to click this. Now, this time, we are going to choose the one that says uh, the scatter with smooth lines. So before, when we did the scientific graph, we just clicked the dots, right? But this one is different. I actually want to see the dots connected. And I want to see the, the lines moving together. I want to see how that trend, how they're, they're wobbling back and forth with those values. So I'm going to click OK. And once I click that, you're going to see a chart up here. So look at this. Here's our weight. And notice it's definitely not in a, in a, stri a straight fashion, right? It's kind of wobbling down. But I'm going, to, I'm going to take this graph, and I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger so we can see it. And again, every time you're making a change here, make, time, make sure you save that, please, so you don't lose your data. Um, so one of the first things I want to do here is I want to go up to, when I, what I want to do is I want to click this graph. Now, I want you to notice, pay attention here. People get lost on this. Notice up here, there's toolbars up here. You see there's nothing up here that has to do with the graph, right? There's going to be a toolbar that will appear when you click the graph, OK? So I want you to click the graph. And notice now there's a whole new toolbar that appeared up here. You see that? You're going to drive yourself crazy if you're looking for this toolbar and you're not clicking the graph. Because if I click off the graph again, watch the toolbar. It's going to disappear. You see it disappear, OK? I don't know why they do that, but that's just how it works. Okay, so click the graph first, and then you're going to see uh, your ability to work with this graph in this chart toolbar. So we can do design, we can do layout, we can do all types of things. There's there's some pre pre fitted designs here that that work out pretty well. Um, you can do that if you want. You can add your own individual titles and axes. It's, it's up to you. Um, so in this particular graph, I'm going to go ahead and do it the long way. I'm going to just go ahead and enter my own chart title. And I'm going to put it above the chart, okay? And I'm going to next. I'm going to get my axis title, so my primary horizontal axis below the axis, and my primary vertical axis, okay? 
I'm going to basically rotate it and um, display it and resize it with the chart. So it's basically pushed this chart over a little bit here in both ways. So I have my title, I have my vertical axis, and I have my horizontal axis. So the first thing I want to do is I want to put, um, let's just say 2012 body weight versus time. Okay, that's on the bottom. So on the left here I have body weight depending on where you live. I live in the United States, so I'm going to use pounds. If you don't live in the United States or Great Britain, you are going to be using kilograms, which is really mass, but there's something called kilograms force, which we basically adjust for the factor of gravity, but I'll, that's another topic for another day. Um, this, this axis here, we're going to basically call this, uh, this is going to be our time. So we're going to say time, and this is in days. Okay, so it's starting to look a little better, right? I mean, that's a pretty cool graph. We can see our, our weight coming down. Uh, but we still need to clean this up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I want to click this here and I want to kind of stretch this over a little bit. And, um, you know, here's my my series one uh, right here. And I might, I might want to come up with a name for that. I mean, you can put that anywhere you want. You can put it up here just to show uh, that it's there. And, and this is going to be important later on because we're actually going to add more series here. I'm going to explain to you. We're going to do a few things here. So what I want to do is I want to name that. I want to make sure that we know what that blue line is. Okay, that's our body weight. So let's click uh, select data here, and you're going to see this box pop up here. And you see where it says series one here? Uh, I want you to click edit. And in the name, I want you to click body weight. Okay, I want you to click body weight. And you're going to see these other values here. These are just your X values that are chosen. So in sheet one, it shows from B2 to B26 for the dates, and in sheet one it shows C2 to C26 for the for the weights. And this is how we're going to actually modify this later on. I'll, I'll talk to you about that if we want to add some more data. But I'm going to click OK. So I know right there, OK, there's my body weight. Body weight is here in blue. And um, there's a couple things I want to do uh, here before we end this video because this is this this video is just to set up the graph. We're not going to add any special features right now. I'm just putting the data on the graph and showing you how it would look. Um, so the first thing I want to do is I want to change my scale a little bit here. So at the body weight in pounds, I want you to left click once and then right click and there's something down here called format axis. So let's say that my body weight, I want to get down to, <clears throat> let's say like, I don't know, 180. Uh, so you might you might want to change your axis. Let's Let's change our minimum axis down here. Let's change it down to um, I don't know. Let's 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 start it with uh, with 180. Let's just go ahead and put that in there and let's see what that looks like. So it changes the way this looks a little bit, right? It makes it look like you're not making as much progress, right? But it actually gives us a more appropriate scale to look at um, depending upon what we want to accomplish, right? So if we want to get down to here, this kind of gives us more of a um, uh, a realistic view of what we're trying to accomplish. Now notice, we don't have enough time here really, right? So I can add time to this axis too if I want, um, you know, as we as we go along. And by the way, we don't have to put 180 just yet down here. I mean, I could have changed this. Let's say my goal weight is, is 180. I could I could have changed that to 190 or 195, let's just say. So I could have right, I could left click that again and I can format the axis. And let's just say I want to make it 190 just to make it a little more zoomed in so it doesn't look like it's such a flat curve. Um, so there we go. So there's our way to 190. So that's giving us something more realistic. Um, but down here on the time, notice we have our scale down here. And it looks a little jumbled down here, right? It looks a little jumbled. So what I want to do is I want you to go down there and right click that axis where it says format axis. And um, you know we can, we can do all types of things. We can change the way the data is displayed. Um, let's say that that date is, is a little too long. I don't necessarily like that format. Um, we, we, you know, it doesn't have to say 2012 every time. We can make it 314 like that one where it's just going to show the date, uh, the month, the day, and the year, right? So now notice when I change it to that, instead of looking jumbled now, now it looks a little bit neater. It looks a little bit more clean. Okay, and, I, and we're just cleaning up the graph here. We're not really doing anything in terms of adding more data. I'll talk about that in the next video. Uh, but I'm just, again, I'm just trying to clean this up. Um, so there's all different things you can do to that data. If I don't like the way that it looks, 
I can I can rotate it. Okay, we can do we can do different things with that. Um, even with the font, I can I can take that and I can tilt it if I want to. So what I what I mean by tilting is let's say you went down to alignment and let's say that you didn't like that format even though I think that looks pretty good in of itself right there. But let's just say that you wanted to tilt that a little bit. You could click here where it says custom angle and you can start tilting it. And you can see the data down here is how it starts tilting a little bit. It just gives your graph a little bit more, um, you know, it's, it's a little bit easier to read is all. And you can fit, if you wanted to fit more data in, you could fit it in that way. It's just a nice tool to use. Now let's say that this isn't enough time. Let's say I want to add about 90 days or 100 days. Let's say I want to add 100 days to my graph so I can see out over time, right? Well, I would basically go up here to uh, where it says axis options right here. And um, I, I have a minimum and a maximum. Now you're going to see these strange numbers here, right? So the maximum here, uh, you see the strange number, right? You see 41,215. So what in the world is that? That's not a date, right? Let me tell you, the way that Microsoft Excel works is it takes the first date day from 1900, the year 1900, and then it adds, okay? So that's how you have to think about this. So if I wanted to add 100 days, I need to change this from 41215 to 41315, like this. And I'm basically just going to add 100 days. Now watch, when I do this, you're going to see on the bottom, you're going to see more dates appear. You see that? And now you can start to see what's happening over a longer period of time if you wanted to go that long. You didn't have to go that long, but it's just an example of what this would look like over a longer period of time. Because this might be the the time horizon you're looking at. If you're trying to reach a certain weight, right? I mean, even if you took this this basic s slope of this, this basic rate, it's going to take you a while to get to, to 180, right? So you're not going to get there. It's going to take you four or five months, right? I mean, a lot of people want to lose weight quickly. And, I, you know, I used to go to this trainer and he, he was just you know really well-known trainer in the area. He was, a local, he was a local trainer and um, he used to work with all these people and the first question is well how, how quick can I lose this weight and he would turn to the person and he would say well how long did it take you to put on the weight you know and it's it's the same thing with losing weight it's like a mirror think about if it takes you this long to gain it it's gonna take you pretty long to lose it now, even one percent a week is a lot uh, by those measures but think about that ask yourself that question how long did it take you to gain the weight right so think about that too so it's a gradual process this is why you have to graph it okay this is important so again I'm going a little bit off on a health tangent here but um, you know the focus of this is to get you set up now on your graph now your graph is set up and the, in the next video we're gonna talk about how to plot target values on here and how to plot something called a moving average that will actually smooth out your weight loss and that will give you some longer term targets alright that's all I got for you right now thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon